Arthur. Good morning. Good morning. And it's Patrick Jones, is that correct? Yes. It's nice to meet you, Patrick. How can I help you today? Well, I'm a bit worried really because uh, last night I, um, I woke up and I had severe chest pains and originally I thought that it was just heartburn and but it it came back again and it was it was really painful so I was just a bit worried really sure now you've, you've said you're worried what were you worried about I, well I thought it might be a heart attack or something like okay. that and um, was there any reason that you thought it was a heart attack well my my brother had a heart attack some uh, some years couple of years or so ago. Right, okay. And and that's why you thought it might yes. be there. Okay. So what I'll do is, if it's okay, I'll ask you a few more questions about mm -hmm. what's been going on. So you mentioned that this started last night. Do yes. you remember roughly what time that was? About 12 o'clock or so. That's when I first woke up with it. Okay. And so I got up and I thought, at first I thought it was heartburn. Okay. So uh, I got up and took some milk and, 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 and relaxed for a bit. And mm -hmm. after about 30 minutes, it seemed to get better. So I went back to bed and went back to sleep. Okay. But then it, it came back again and I woke up at about two and it was really quite severe then. Okay. And when you woke up at two o'clock, how long did it last for, can you remember? About 30 minutes or so okay. before it started to, okay. to ease. And, and when you had the chest pain, can you describe to me how it felt? It was a really sharp pain in the middle of my chest. Yes. And it was like somebody was sitting on my chest. It was really like, it was really difficult to breathe. And Did you have any other symptoms like feeling sick with that? Yeah, I, 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 felt, I felt sick. Yes. But I, I wasn't actually physically okay. sick. Okay. Did you feel sweaty at all? Yes, I, yes, I did. Yeah. Did you feel your heart race in your chest? Absolutely, yes. You did, okay. And did you feel dizzy? No. No? Okay. The pain, did you feel that the pain moved anywhere? I, it moved to my left shoulder. Did it go up into your jaw at all mm. or anywhere else? No. No, okay. Have you um, had a cough at all recently? No, no. No? no not coughed any blood that you're aware oh, of? Oh, absolutely not, no. no. Okay. Any pain you've experienced in the back of your leg? No, those have been fine. No. And the pain that you had last night, is that there now? No, I feel, I feel okay now. Okay. So um, you mentioned that at 12 o'clock you woke up, you had a little bit of pain, had some milk, you went back to sleep, then at 2 o'clock you had very bad chest pain yeah. and that lasted for about half an hour, but you've not had any pain since that, is that correct? No, that's right. Okay. Have I missed anything that... No, that's... there's nothing nothing else. It was just that and it's it, just it was that. That, that, that worried me really. Of course, okay. And um, we've got here that you um, suffer with a high blood pressure. Yes. Is that correct? And you're on one blood pressure tablet. Yes, that's right. Okay. Do you take any other tablets from over the counter? No. I, well, Last night I took some Gaviscon to, okay. to try and get rid of this, yes. and it, it did seem to help, but... Yes. I, I, but Are you allergic to anything? No. no. You've mentioned about your brother having a heart attack. Yes. How old was he when he had his heart attack? Uh, 48. And is he okay now? Yeah, yeah, we, as long as he takes things yeah. easy. Okay. And is there any other family history of heart attacks or strokes that you're aware of? Uh, my father died of a heart attack. Okay. Do you know how old he was? Oh, he'd be about 50, I think. Quite young. Quite young as well. And anyone with strokes in the family? No. No. Now, in terms of you at home, who, who lives at home with you? Oh, I live with my, with my wife, with wife. But, but she's n not too well, really, because she's got arthritis so I have to spend a lot of time caring for her. Ah, so you're her carer? Yes. Okay. And do you work as well? Yes, I do. I, yeah, I'm a, I'm a tool cutter. Tool cutter, okay. And you've not had any problems with chest pain at work? No, no, of? it's, it's quite unusual really. Okay, okay. Um, do you smoke at all? Uh, yes, yeah. I do. Okay. <laughs> How many do you smoke? It's about 20 a day, but I have cut it down. It used to be a lot more, it used to be 40. Okay. But I have okay. cut it down, but... Okay, so it's about 20 a day at the moment. Yes. How long have you been smoking Ooh. for? Well, since I was a teenager, so it's 20, 30 years or okay. so. Okay, fine. Have you thought about cutting down mm. or stopping? 
I would like to. I, I, I've tried yes. and uh, but failed. And um, in terms of alcohol, do you drink any alcohol in the week? I do, but I, I, leave, I leave it for the weekend. Really, I have about four pints of a weekend. Okay, is that in total over the weekend or um, every? Day? Yeah, I would say in total. In total. And do you mind me asking how you got to the surgery today? Did you drive? I drove here. Yes. You drive, and you usually you drive. Yes, yes. Yeah? Okay. So um, you mentioned earlier that you were worried about your heart, mm. and, and we can definitely have a look at that for you. Okay. You, was there anything else that you were worried about other than your heart? No. Okay. And um, sometimes people come to the room thinking about specific tests that we would do. Had you thought about any specific tests or any specific way we would treat you today? Well, not not really. I just wanted to come along and, and kind of kind of just mention what happened just to sure. see I'm, I'm hoping that it, everything was okay and it, it was a one-off what I'd like to do now is examine you if that's okay that, but, so yeah. I'm gonna check your blood pressure I'm okay. gonna check your heart and your lungs yes um, and I'd also like um, the nurse to do a heart trace for you so we're just going to send you away just to get a heart trace done it's just so I can see the rhythms of your heart and see how they are oh okay would that be okay yes that's fine okay Okay, so checking all, all the tests we've done today, um, they have all come back normal, which is good. So your heart <sighs> trace is okay, your blood pressure is okay. However, you mentioned you were worried about your heart, and to be honest with you, I'm also worried about your heart oh. as well. You mentioned about heart attacks at all as well before, and that is one of the things that I am worried about. Oh. I can see that's that's taking you back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm worried about your heart because sometimes when you have very severe pain, like you've described, it can be a way that the heart's telling you it's not getting enough blood. Okay. And especially with your family history, with your brother and your father having heart attacks at quite young ages, I do think you'll need some more tests doing. Oh. What are you, what are you thinking now? just what those tests are and what they might show really. Okay. Well, firstly, the tests are done at the hospital. So I would like you to, for you to go up to the hospital. And what they'll be doing is they'll be doing some blood tests um, to check some specific levels related to your heart. I just don't like hospitals and... Have you had any bad experiences before in the hospital? No, I can't say that I have really. It, yeah. It's just the fact of going into them and yeah and you have to wait and the longer that you wait the more anxious okay you get. um it can be very anxious it can be anxious coming to see us as well at the surgery sometime and, and, and it can be very anxious going up to hospital so i can i can understand where your worries come from in terms of you waiting i'm happy to give the hospital a call to say that you're coming through so you won't be waiting in the emergency department i'll be talking to the medical team so they oh. will be expecting you on the other end oh okay does is that any easier on you if it makes it a bit quicker yes, yes. that yeah. does make it easier because i've got to be worried about my wife, obviously, sure. um, because I'm looking after her, and if I'm away for too for too long, okay. um, you know that makes it, it will make it easier. Would there be anybody to come and um, help look after your wife if needs me? You mentioned your daughter. Oh yes, I've got I've got a daughter, but she yeah. doesn't live with us, obviously. Okay. But but she she can she can help out, and she sure. at, as she does when I'm at work anyway. Okay, okay. Would you be happy for me to send you up to the hospital if I made arrangements for you to go? In the arrangements that you've described, yes. Uh, okay. I, I, I suppose. I'd rather get it sorted out rather than Absolutely. anything else. Yeah. Absolutely. I wouldn't want you to go away and something like this a bit more major happens. So yeah. we do need to make sure we need to check and see what's happening with your heart. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't really be happy for you to drive up to the hospital just in case you had another episode like this whilst you're driving. Would, would your daughter or somebody be able to come and take you up to hospital maybe? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions from anything that we've discussed so far? No, not really. 
If there are any other problems, please do come back and see me. But I would like for you to go straight up to the hospital now and I'll get that letter done. Right, today? Today. Okay. Okay, okay well thank you very much and I'll make those arrangements for you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you.